India is in advanced discussions with two European countries for the export of guided pinnacle system. India and US have signed a pact known as Security of Supply Arrangements, to ensure the mutual supply of defense goods and services, and address unanticipated supply chain disruptions to meet respective national security needs. The US Secretary of State Antony Blinken has approved a foreign military sale of high-altitude anti-submarine warfare Sono Boys at an estimated cost of $52.8 million. Indian Army's switch tactical UAV lost control of its operator, after which it crossed the line of control and crashed, and the wreckage of the drone is currently in the custody of Pakistani Special Forces. Bengaluru-based Bigan Aerospace has unveiled two of its latest helicopter UAV models, that is capable of carrying payloads of 7 kg and 12 kg, with a range of 85 km and a speed of 100 km per hour at higher altitudes. Leading Israeli manufacturer of electro-optical sites Meprolite has partnered with India's RPS 4 e Innovation Private Limited to establish a new assembly line for Meprolite's advanced sites in India. India and Ukraine have signed four agreements, and resolved to enhance their cooperation in defense trade and green energy. Assam Rifles have procured 10 ASME guns for evaluation purposes. India is looking to fully indigenize the production of AK-203 rifles by the end of 2025. Army Design Bureau has signed a transfer of technology agreement for its in-house developed Exploder unmanned ground vehicle, and Agniastra multi-target portable detonation device with private Indian firms. The DRDO is set to replace the older sonars on the Indian Navy's Kilo-class submarines with the upgraded integrated submarine sonar system. The RDO's research and development establishment has successfully developed a scale technology demonstrator for electromagnetic aircraft launch system, that can launch payloads up to 400 kg within a short span of 16 meters. The focus is now on scaling up these technologies to create a full-fledged EMAL system, which will be able to launch platforms weighing up to 40 tons, that includes carrier-capable airborne early warning aircraft. Rafale Marine TED BF fighter jets and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. The demonstration of full-scale system will require substantial state funding to ensure its success, as it needs a land-based facility replicating the conditions on an aircraft carrier. The DRDO and Hindustan Aeronautics are set to collaborate on the development of an indigenous airborne electronic warfare pod for the Prachand Light Combat Helicopter that will also be compatible with other rotary wing platforms. The EW pod will be integrated into the inner tower of the Prachand, providing crucial electronic countermeasures to protect the helicopter from radar-guided missiles and other threats. Recent advancements have brought renewed optimism in the Cavalry engine program, and the gas turbine research establishment is targeting to achieve 81 kN thrust during demonstration flights potentially making the cavalry engine suitable for the second batch of Tejas Mark 1A fighters. After significant improvements, the cavalry engine's dry core is now capable of demonstrating 49 to 51 kN of dry thrust, and the new generation afterburner being built by Brahmos Aerospace, will enable it to generate the desired 81 kN thrust. The cavalry engine is a flat-rated design, which means that it will not suffer from thrust loss in highly humid and dry conditions, and the 81 kN cavalry could potentially outperform the American F-404, which generates below 79 kN in similar environments. As the Indian Air Force continues to evaluate its options for a modern and versatile medium transport aircraft, Experts have said that India should evaluate the Japanese Kawasaki C-2 medium-range military transport aircraft, which has the same dimensions to that of Airbus A400M, but it can carry 40 tons of payload, compared to the 37 tons of A400M. It has a maximum speed of 890 km per hour, a maximum range of 6500 km, 
and can operate at a service ceiling of 12,200 meters, and additionally, it also has the ability to operate from short or unprepared runways. Today's top 3 comments.